This is Mark, Kilo Mike 6, Zulu Papa Oscar, and I want to show you what I'm up to today. Uh, today I'm at Gillaran Giller, Park in Mission Viejo, and um, I've tried some HF stuff today. I tried Arden here, not a great place for Arden. Um, out there in the field, I've got an MFJ 1979 whip. It's right about, well, my finger's not going to get there, but it's the small one that's stainless steel. It has a chameleon micro hybo below it. On the right over here is this big long wire. That thing works great too. But um, well, I wanted to try the whip today to see if it had enough bandwidth to do Vara HF. And um, so that's what I'm doing. So I'm going to go ahead and start the transmission, um, hopefully on this video. Um, it's calling a station K7 DAV, which is about 600 miles away. And I'm using, this is an FT100 um, Yesu. We're running 20 meters today, using the signal link over there. And um, here we go. So it says st station bearing uh, 032, so it's north of us at 32 degrees. That's kind of northeast at 600 miles. So I imagine this is probably up by Lake, Lake Tucker, Lake Tahoe, something like that. Um, and uh, we'll watch what's going on on Varro over here and the waterfall chart. You know, one thing I've noticed about Vara is you've got to have the volume levels right. You know, if you're off the chart with this, the VU meter here, it's not going to work well. Um, so it's, it's, you just adjust on the signal link over there and make sure that it's in the right range. So you might have to turn it up just a tad. Let's see where we at. Uh, well, we're not the only ones on this frequency. You can see the SWR is just fine. And oh, sorry, you missed the the middle part of this. This is where the message is being sent. So the handshake was a little slow, but once it starts getting going, um, it it runs okay. do a few more things so this is just saying yeah I, I know you've got some email to send and I'm just sending it to my um, personal email address outside of the WinLink network so not exceptionally fast but it is working I was a little surprised that the um, MFJ 1979 would work but the way I made it work and I'll take you over there in a second is um, I put a chameleon micro hybrid below it and I also have a 40 meter uh, radio wire that's just sending off that's just going off in the distance there so um, I'm gonna walk over there for a second while this thing's finishing up um, I'm gonna show you the mount so this is just a copper uh, ground rod and this wire here connects to the radial lead it's just sending off in that direction and um, and this is just 50 feet of uh, coax RG 58 so this hybrid micro actually can be set up in a lot of different ways this is the vertical way I probably shouldn't touch it because it's transmitting but it's 17 feet tall this thing operates really well on 20 meters which is what we're using today uh, back to the computer and see if we're done these are my friends this is my wife this is my friend <laughs> <laughs> okay yeah she's my friend okay so it actually did send and you can see the finals there disconnected uh the average throughput was 108 110 bytes you know not exceptional but um it it works it works in a pinch you know with a even a vertical so that's what i'm doing today it's been a great day out in the park, perfect weather. Uh, KM6 ZPO out.